Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You hear guns in the background. I apologize. We have people come out who shoot the guns on the shooting range. But this video is very important. So I'm going to put it up. What's going on in Australia? It it involves every Jehovah Witness. It involves every person around this world who wants to learn about Jehovah Witnesses and study their religion. This is a picture of a Bible. I'm going to use this here very shortly. This is Jehovah Witnesses Bible, the 2013 New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. I'm going to bring this out here very shortly. You notice in a courtroom, the guy has his, his hand on the Bible, and one hand on the Bible, the other hand upward position. He's being swear in. Look at the Bible. Same here. Same thing. Look at the Bible. Probably wonder why I'm going to bring this out. Now, remember the first Bible? The regular Bible, and this is Jeffrey Jackson. Look at his hand. Does that Bible look familiar? Well, let's play the clip. Okay, let's stop right there. Okay, the picture I'll show you, I'm going to show again. He wasn't using this Bible. He was using this Bible under oath. Why is it it's critical from this Bible to this Bible. Well, I'm going to bring out a point. You notice in his hand again, he has what we call the silver sword. This is the Bible he would, he put his hands in and, and swore by God everything that comes out of his, out from his t mouth to testify that it was going to be true. So, I got a question, Jehovah Witnesses. This is um, a court, one of the court cases. Governing body, Jeffrey Jackson, Jehovah Witness, talk about child sexual abuse. There's the date, 
the time. And this is in Australia. This is the video proof that Jeffrey Jackson is in Australia. Now, what my main purpose for this video? When he swore himself in to the courtroom, he was using this Bible. Not other Bibles that you see in the other pictures of the courtrooms. There's a big difference. It's because if Jeffrey Jackson had his hands on this Bible, would he took the true oath and swear by God everything that he say was going to be the truth? Probably not. It's because the reason why he had them let him bring his own Bible in and this Bible that was written by these men, so to speaking, they had this Bible translated and that's the same one that Jehovah Witnesses is using today. Okay, the thing is wrong. What's wrong? This Bible don't even consider to be called Bible. He might, have, might as well put his hands on the Book of Mormons, um, Muslims book, um, a comet book, because this book is not even a Bible. It's a book of lies, book of twisted scriptures. So, if you want to swear somebody in, like someone like Jeffrey Jackson, or even a Jehovah Witness, if they put their hands on this Bible, and they lie in court, then they're lying to God. But, if they had their hands on this book, what they call the Bible, they're not lying to God because they know this is not a Bible. It's a portray or I would say a comic book, nothing but jokes. And this Bible, he deliberately used because he knew and knows this Bible or book, what I call it, is a total lie. So, no, under oath on his hands on the on this Bible, he didn't lie one bit. He didn't lie to God, because his hands was not on the real Bible. Jehovah Witnesses, if you watch the videos, and you'll see he's not answering the questions right. He's twisting answers that he's asked to make the Jehovah Witnesses to rule of child molesters or keeping child molesters in the congregation and not reporting it to the police. He knows when he put his hand on that Bible that he don't have to tell the truth because he and the other government body knows this is not God's word because they know this Bible is so twisted in so many scriptures that we people like me and others found so many contradictions in this Bible, leaving scriptures out, adding scriptures, and it doesn't consider to be a Bible to the government body. That is the reason why he did not use 
this Bible or any Bible. He used something that is being controlled or in this case controlling you because you think this is God's word. Look at the court cases and see for yourself why are he why is he in court? Why has elders protecting pedophiles in their own congregations when they swore that they uphold truth, righteous, and they call people brothers and sisters? Why would a brother be turn himself into a pedophile and molest children in the congregation? Why is the elders upholding the government body's rules to punish the victim, to upright and keep the pedophile righteous? to save their reputation of this blaspheme Bible and their God, Jehovah. People, you need to wake up. He knew darn well he could get out of lying and to the real God by using this blaspheme holy scripture what they call the Bible so people you need to wake up you need to realize we got out we found out many things that you don't want to know don't even care about because you believe this idiot government body and those other sets is your salvation and not even realizing the true salvation is in the Bible. It's always been there. But salvation is not in this Bible. It's in the seven men that you put in charge of your life, your family life. And you believe that this blasphemed Bible is God's words. That's the reason why he did not want to put his hand on the real Bible because he knew he would have been in real trouble by God, the true God. And that's the reason why he used his Bible. Think about it. Thank you and have a nice day.